The moods of Christmas run from levity, from joy, thanksgiving, and feasting, right through to gift giving. But more than the giving of gifts wrapped in colored packages, the gift of someone whose life has been so influential that it has influenced countless millions through the past centuries. But Your Grace, after 19 centuries, why is he still the centerpiece of the human race and the leader of the column of progress? Well, that's a very interesting question. And I think I would like to put it this way, that Jesus really symbolizes the deepest aspirations of, of mankind that what people are really hankering for is to be found in him i'm not saying that they achieve it but they know even when they can't achieve it that he has something that really brings true peace and happiness and true greatness the lesson of jesus is a very difficult one to follow and to put into practice in fact we, we, we recognize that every day but the mere striving after that excellence that he represents is itself a, a, a wonderful thing. And I think most people would love to do these things, even when they, they feel that they, they're too weak, too limited, too human to do this. I, I still feel that they know this is what they should do. And, and at all times, he represents this for people. And those who have gone into his message more deeply and the seed of the demands that this message makes sort of realizes that there's something that is calling to them in the depths of their heart. And that is why the, he will always represent a magnificent ideal for us all, and even as a human being. But, of course, the message itself is a very difficult one, as I mentioned. And uh, the, it, co it contains a lot of paradoxes. For example, that you have to die in order to live that you have to lose in order to find. And this is where the whole question comes in when we see God becoming man, and not only a man, but becoming a little child, and even going further still through his passion, death, and resurrection. That to achieve true greatness, you have to sort of lose something that is very dear to you. And to me, it seems as if God wanted to show men what they really could become. And so he became man himself in order to bring that message. So that when we see that Christ child, we say now, this is how we have to be. Because Jesus himself gave one of his most important lessons when he said, unless you become like a little child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And that is why I think it's very appropriate, since we just began the international year of the child, to have this Christ child before us this Christmas season. Because as the slogan we have chosen this year goes, Christmas is Christ.